How to prepare for what is coming. Hey everybody, I'm Michael with Asymmetrical Preparedness. That's a good topic, right? Good question. How do I prepare for what is coming? Well, first off, you gotta know what is coming. Do any of us really know what is coming? That's another good question. No, not really. We have indications, we have thoughts, we have feelings, we may have promptings, we may receive notifications from the Spirit, depending. News sources, reliable or not, what is going on? There's a lot going on in the world today, right? There's a lot on the horizon, right? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that is uh, very troubling um, that I hear about. And the direction that we seem to be heading right now is not a very good one. We got this big bubble. What do bubbles do? Bubbles don't go forever, right? They burst, right? What about all this posturing? War type stuff. Yeah, proxy versions of it. What about all the cyber stuff? Threats, attacks. You've heard about, you might have heard about crop failures, potential global food shortages. Heard about maybe upcoming um, orders where you have to stay home. <laughs> um, you guys know what I'm talking about with that one. AK, a lot of stuff that we really got sick and tired of and we're done with from last year, from 2020. But maybe even worse upcoming on the horizon. But anyway, there's a lot of stuff going on, right? There's a lot of potential for things to go south, to not be in a good situation. So, what do we do about it? Very good question. One of the best things I feel to do to be ready for whatever is going on is to do this stuff. Grow food. Raise your own animals. Anything that can get you self-reliant, self-sufficient, whatever, one of those self words, not selfish, selfless, but all the words that associate with taking care of yourself, your family, for providing your inputs, for providing your food, for providing for your own security, your own shelter, your own transportation, your own medical, your own dental, your own um, whatever it may be, your own water. That's very important, right? Those are the big ones that I key off of right now. One thing that people talk about a lot is, okay, so you got all this stuff. How do you protect it? Things like, what goes here? Check out the link in the description below for Patreon. That's where we talk about that kind of stuff. Because that kind of stuff is not conducive to this platform. Due to events that I never ever thought I would ever have to deal with in the United States of America. Enough said about that. Have ways to protect what you have. To secure what you have. What you're growing. What you're raising. What you're stockpiling. How secure is your location? Low population density? High population density? Easy ingress, egress? Positive and negative for that. That doesn't necessarily have to be a good thing or a bad thing. It can be both, depending on your ability to secure it. We mainly, yes, we talk about that kind of stuff on Patreon. If you want to check it out, links in the description below, like I said. Um, but you got to have the ability to take care of, not only take care of your family by providing food, stockpiling food, water supplies, all this stuff, normal prepping stuff, but the other side of it. You got to be able to protect what you have, secure what you have. That is also a very important part. Like I said, I normally talk about security stuff on Patreon, but I'm going to talk a little bit here. Natural security features. This. This. I will walk down here. Blackberries. Right? And you're like, oh, okay, well, I can get through blackberries. Yeah. No, you can't. Good luck with that. Not these blackberries. Here, this is an elevated portion I'll stand up here on, and you can see they go all the way down the hill down there. All this 
is blackberries. You are not, nobody is coming through that. All that is blackberries. Yeah, I get it. I need to cut it back some. It's a little crazy. And then around there and around there. And yes, natural security features. Use them. Any of you that have been around this channel for a while, you have seen this. But this is an example of what I recommend and I hope that a lot of you are doing. This is growing your own food. Very, very important. I'm not going to go over all of it. I've talked about this before. All the stuff I'm growing. And maybe I'll do an update video again. But peas that are over 7 foot tall. Yeah. Potatoes are about ready to pull up. We got cantaloupe here. We got sweet potatoes here. Beets. Potatoes. 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 Right? High in calories. Good for you. We love them. Um, tomatoes. We got peppers. Squashes and corn. Yes, you see that corn? You see that raised bed is 20 inches tall. And that's how tall the corn is coming up out of it. Awesome. Good. Yummy. Higher in caloric value. Same with this down in here. Squashes. Zucchinis. Good stuff, right? And I'll tell you what, it's not only provides you good quality yummy food, but it's really good to teach your children how to do stuff like this like growing your own food and enjoying the fruits of your labor. I talk all the time about growing your own food, raising your own animals, stockpiling food, you know, that emergency fund, or emer yeah, emergency, your food storage, but your food storage is your emergency fund, right? And then your working pantry and what you're growing and stuff like that is what you're using out of all the time. I talk about that stuff all the time, but, yeah, I don't talk about all the security stuff as much here on YouTube. Every once in a while I mention it like I just did. Uh, but with all these things on the horizon, who of you can say that it's not a good idea to be as self-sufficient and self-reliant as possible? With certain caveats, like the ability to protect it and secure what you have. And another thing you got to think of, you got to remember, even if you have very good security setup, very good security system, alarms, motion detectors, lights, people, you know, physical stuff, electronic stuff, all the things. That even if you have it secure, it may not be. You may lose it. True, very true. But does that mean you're not going to try? That's like saying, okay, well, if, uh, if nuclear war broke out, we're all going to die anyway. Okay, so does that mean we don't prep? No, that doesn't mean we don't prep. We still do our best. And hope, do our, prepare for the worst, hope for the best. That's what I was getting at. That's very important. Also to stay positive. That's what I'm, I'm one of my main goals here is to try to stay positive, uplifting, and empower you guys to think. I try to think of as many things as I can that are outside the box outside the prepping norm. I talk about prepping norm a lot also because it is. It's the core. It's what's very important. It's the core skill sets, the core um, food storage, the core water storage, core medical, all this stuff. That's what really forms the nucleus. I also mention a lot of times, all the time, this is the most important tool in prepping. Have a good ball cap, I mean. No, of course that's not what I mean. Your brain, right? That is the most powerful tool in preparedness. Seriously, your ability, your mental ability to cope with change and to stay ahead of the game, to make dynamic decisions quickly. Talked about that recently, though. Let's not go into that anymore. Um, I just really want to get through to you guys that to keep on prepping, to not take a break, to not take it easy, to also not get overwhelmed, not be watching all, all these... There are a lot of channels that talk about what's going to go on, bad stuff all the time. Bad, 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 negative, negative, negative. Okay, we can't concentrate on the negative all the time. We have to be aware of it, though, like I talk about it also sometimes. Um, but, like I've said on this channel since almost the very beginning, we prep out of peace of mind, not out of fear. That's what prepping is. Prepping gives you peace of mind. 
your food storage is your emergency fund, your water storage, your medical, all that kind of stuff, that's your emergency fund. Just like we have an emergency fund in the bank, right? Or not in the bank, but, um, you know, hidden in the mattress <laughs> or buried in the yard, something like that, you know, whatever. Um, keep your heads high, stay positive, and do the best you can. We're all in different situations. We're all in different areas of operation. We all live in different areas. We all deal with different things, different threats, different needs, different, we all, we all have different abilities. We all have different capabilities. So try to mitigate your weaknesses, build on your strengths, and just do your best. Stay positive, have a wonderful day. Please subscribe, please hit the like button, please comment below, please share the videos. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day and blessings to you and yours.